Do you know why the artificial reproductive techniques came into being? It was to offer a chance at parenthood to couples who may not have been able to conceive a biologically related child otherwise. Let's have a look at it. In this topic, we will acquire knowledge about the in vitro fertilization technique and its uses. A female reproductive system comprises ovaries, oviducts, uterus, cervix, and vagina. As the sperms enter the vagina, they swim through the cervix by a wriggling movement of their tail. They pass through the uterus and enter the oviduct. Meanwhile, if the ovary releases an ovum, it also enters the oviduct. Inside the oviduct, a single sperm fuses with the ovum and forms the zygote. In some females, the oviducts are blocked and the sperm is not able to reach the ovum. This leads to infertility. In this case, a highly sophisticated technique called the in vitro fertilization or IVF is used to assist the infertile couple. Let us study the method of IVF. This technique begins with a fertility drug containing follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, that is injected in a female. The FSH stimulates the ovary to produce ova. Now, an ultrasound device is used to locate the ovary. Through an ultrasound guided needle, the ova are aspirated from the ovary. The subsequent steps are performed in a completely sterile environment. The harvested ova are placed in a test tube and the seminal fluid collected from a male is mixed with them. The growth medium containing salts, glucose and a chemical called pyruvate is added. This test tube is now placed in an incubator to provide the optimum temperature required for fertilization. A zoomed in view inside the test tube shows the ovum surrounded by sperms. A single sperm fertilizes the ovum and forms the zygote. Since the fertilization occurs in a test tube, IVF is also known as the test tube baby technique. The test tube mixture is then taken on a glass slide to examine under a microscope. The microscope view confirms the zygote formation. Final step is the embryo transplantation inside the uterus. Later on, the embryo develops, which ultimately results in pregnancy. The success rate of IVF is about 12 to 40 percent. To summarize, in this first step, the female is injected with a drug containing FSH, which stimulates the production of ova. During the second step, the ova are collected by a needle and placed into a test tube. In the third step, the seminal fluid collected from the male is added to the test tube mixture along with the growth medium. The test tube is then placed in an incubator to allow for zygote formation. Finally, the embryo is transplanted inside the uterus and gets implanted in the uterus wall which later on results in pregnancy.